What's going on you guys? I have another Dell Optiplex 3050. Gonna be upgrades. I'll show you the front. And there's the back. So what I'll do is, this is what I'm gonna be upgrading. Uh, one terabyte NVMe M.2 SSD, uh, three terabyte hard drive for extra storage, and the video card will be GT1030 low profile with the low profile bracket. And the RAM, this is a DDR4, eight gig per each each stick, so 16 gigs total. So there are two, two, two thumb screws in the back here to remove and slide to the left. So first all I'll do is I'm gonna move the front cover, plastic. And what I will do is I'm going to disconnect a three and a half inch hard drive. It's got only one terabyte in here. It's kind of low. And if you guys want to upgrade to, you can go four terabytes or you can go eight terabytes or you can go 10 terabytes. They have so I'm gonna do that just like that. So what I would do now is I'm gonna lock this in our hard drive cage. Now, so it's got a 500 gig SSD in here, NVMe M.2, and it's also Samsung. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this one, remove this one first. And you're just going to go ahead and gently pull it. Yeah, if you can remove this little plastic piece right here that's holding, then you will have to use the pliers gently like this and pull it. You have to be really careful. Now, what I will do is upgrade to RAM. It's only got eight gigs of RAM. That's four gig per each slot. Yeah, each stick is only four gigs. It's kind of low. And if you guys want to upgrade, you can go maximum 32 gigs. That's 16 gig per each slot you can do. And this one is a damn slot one right here. Right here. And this is a damn slot two right here, the second one. Now, what I will do, I'm gonna put this one back in the final gig. Put it back to plastic. And I'm gonna upgrade the video card. To do that, I will install this back. Connect 
connect this back to the optical drive here in the wire, set and power. If you guys were asking me if one terabyte is not enough for the solid state drive, you can go up to four terabytes. You can go the NV M.2. Now what I will do is, I'm gonna connect the wires here, see if it like this. And will be the last part is the video card. And you're gonna move the, you're gonna install it through, the top one is a PCI Express times one, and the bottom one is PCI Express times 16, right here, the blue one. That's where we're gonna install the video card. And you're gonna move the PCI bracket. And it's got a 180 watt power supply in here. It worked perfectly fine. If you guys are asking me if you have, uh, you're gonna be running four monitors, then you can go with the NVIDIA Quadro K1200. You can start low profile. Also they have, I'll put a link in the description, you guys can buy it through Amazon. So I'm gonna just show you guys like this. The video cord. The video card is installed. And I'm gonna install back the front cover. Show you guys the back. So it's got an HDMI port and DVI port. And this is the front. So you guys, it's the end of the video. What I will do is I'm gonna upload the tear down separate video and I will make a reassemble video also. So you guys, thanks for watching. Bye.